Hey guys, I'm the Bento Buster and I'm back with another 4 minute Bento! This Bento is slightly different to the previous ones. And that's mainly due to the writer they chose for the photo. Now where was it again? Um, ah, there it is. Yep, there it is, bulgogi and zucchini. With some funky looking rice. What's bulgogi? Well that's a Korean beef dish and check out the link above for a full recipe. Because today we're making a super quick version. Now the funky coloured rice really threw me off so I did some investigating. And that's when I discovered this. This is zakoku and it's used to make a zakoku mai. Zakoku means mixed grains and mai means rice. It's also called koku mozu gohan. Inside the sachet are various types of grains and seeds. Just pour this into your rice before you cook it, then BAM when your rice is done, zakoku mai. So in it goes, then whammo! Mixed grain rice. If you do want to make this but you don't have any sachets, how about adding some muesli aka granola and see what happens. Technically the same stuff really, isn't it? Now of course this is going to take longer than 4 minutes, so if you can't be bothered just use one of these. 2 minute instant rice. Ok now let's get that bulgogi beef and the zucchinis sorted. First off, make sure that your beef is finely sliced. The thinner the better, and to get it this thin I think they freeze it then slice it. I could be wrong but I may be right. As for the zucchinis, make sure that they're cut kind of like this. Ok, and to the beef I'm going to add some soy sauce. Followed by some ginger and garlic. Some potato starch, and if you don't have that, cornstarch will do just fine. And finally some sesame oil. Now I've skipped the sugar, because I'm on a diet. But if you're not on a diet, add some sugar, and even a couple of teaspoons of apple sauce would go great with this. Anyway, once you've added everything that you need, give it a good mix. Now let's turn our attention to the zucchini. In goes some toasted sesame seeds, followed by a little bit of salt. And that's about it. Now give it a wee bit of a mix, and then we're ready to put these in the microwave. Ok, they're now prepped. So into the microwave they go, and I'm going to cook them for 4 minutes. And if you are going to use microwaveable rice, chuck it in the oven midway and cook it with everything else for 2 minutes. And when they're done, they should look something like this. Bar the rice of course. Ok, everything's ready, so let's start filling up this bento. Oh and by the way, if you want your meat to be juicy, yet crispy and gnarly, then cook it in the fry pan. And if you want it to be just juicy and soft, then cook it in the microwave like I did. Either way, they'll both turn out fantastic. The beef is in place, so now it's time for that zucchini. As you can see, filling this bento is a pretty simple process. I'm just going to layer them on top of each other, just like this. And have you noticed, for this bento I'm not using any of my dinky weed liners. That's right, I've gone all El Natural for this one. They do serve a purpose, but for this bento I don't think I really need them. And before you could say Commando Bento, we're done! Now, just take a look at that. It does look very kind of organic and healthy, doesn't it? And while my little buddies are happily enjoying the sun, I'm going to give this the taste test. And to kick things off, I'm going straight for that beef. The beef is remarkably tender and juicy. It's bulgogi delicious, And it's also very chopstick friendly. Now, how about this rice? Yep, just as I thought, this rice is really homely. It's full of minerals and dietary fibre. Ok, now let's try the zucchini! They're crisp, yet moist, with the right amount of tenderness. Basically, zucchini-tastic. I'll tell you what, this bento definitely tastes delicious, nutritious and good for you! So guys, the ball's in your court. What do you think? Are you up for it? Well, I hope so, and either way, you've got another bento to add to your repertoire. As always, thanks for watching, I'm the Bento Buster at Kiwi in Japan. Kia kaha, stay strong and I'll see you next time.